Aaron. Hey, Elizabeth. Welcome back. Thank you. It's not like we don't see each other every day, but yeah. welcome to episode 11 of the Vokes podcast. Episode 11. Episode Yay. 11. Yeah. And we are here to talk about something that is near and dear to you and me both. Oh, I thought he was trying to say that it was just me. And I was like, what? Mm-mm, no, we are so excited. Episode 10 was a blast. Thank you so much for helping me come up with all these ideas and having fun on the air with me and in preparing. Yeah, it's been a blast. Yeah, and we enjoy different things. So each week, each of us gets to choose what we're going to do. So this week was yours. You chose this one. Yeah. But it's, yeah, both of us. So go for it. What are we talking about today, honey? Growing up in the 80s and 90s. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you gave me a little advance notice because I had to think a little bit about this and write down a few notes, notes because I was like, there's some important stuff and probably some stuff we don't care about. So wrote down the stuff that I thought I would like to talk about. But if you don't bring it up, then we just won't talk about it. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see where this podcast leads us. But I think um, the big thing is we need to clarify like when we grew up, right? Yeah, that's important. When so when were you born? <laughs> yeah, we're going there. Okay. Nineteen seventy eight. Seventy eight. So you're a seventies child. Uh no, I'm a seventies baby. Oh yeah, seventies baby. Seventies baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um and I was an eighties baby. You were an 80s baby. Yeah. Barely. Yeah. 80s baby. And I, uh, so I was a child in the 80s and a teenager in the 90s. So, okay. Are we skipping what year you were born? We're just going with the 80s. (laughs) So here's the thing about, like, they say that you have to be born in, like, the mid 80s. Excuse me. Or 90s to be a 90s child. But I don't believe that because for me, like, it's the parts of that I remember the most. Does that make sense? Like, and I remember the late 80s and the 90s. They are the most influential in my life. That's how I go. I think, like, if you're a 90s child or, like, the 90s was what influenced you. If you were an 80s child, the 80s would influence you. And I don't think the big hair and the bandanas around the head and maybe ripped jeans because they they flew into the 90s a little bit. But, Mm -hmm. you know, you think about that. The 80s was more of that rock neon clothing in the 90s was more of that grunge. And I feel like the grunge style was more where you and I went to. Yeah, I um, so I, I feel like. I'm a 90s child. So that's just, we're going to put it that way. I so a, a big part of it is um, the music. Like, what music did you enjoy in, through your childhood? Was it the 80s or 90s music? Because that, to me, leads to where you were influenced more. Mm-hmm. Well, I would go with that. And that I'm definitely 90s. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I mean, I know some 80s music, yes. But 90s music, I really know. So, yeah. What do you think was great about growing up in the 90s? Growing up in the 90s, great was the the ability just to be able to go and do things. Like, for me, it's summertime, I think, is when we talk, or is what I think about. And Mm -hmm. just jumping on the bicycle and riding down to a friend's house or going to the beach going to the store to get a soda and a bag of chips, that kind of thing. Like just the freedom to be able to do that, which uh, our kids don't get that. No. So the nineties kids are the last generation of mobile, like no mobile devices. No, they weren't born with a phone in their hand. Yep. They were not born with a phone in their hand. So it's like the first thing our granddaughter learned how to do. She's like, I was, She's just over a year now. She's like, hello? 
Yep. Hello, cell phone in her hand, pretending. Yeah, she knows. She sees a cell phone. She says, hello, hello. So that is quite interesting. Like, we didn't have, we weren't indoors when we were kids. We were outdoors. Outside kids. That's what we were. We were outside kids. Yeah. I was never in the house. Ever. I don't know about you, but we didn't have air conditioning, so it really didn't matter. Like, you know, yeah. there was no, I'm going in the house to cool off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We didn't have air either. What would you say is your favorite or greatest? What was the greatest thing about? Yeah, biking over to my friend's house, hanging out, going to the park. Hey, do you want to go swing? Meet me at the park. Do kids even go to the park anymore? Is that a thing? Not unless you drive them. Isn't that weird? Huh. Yeah. I don't know. We have to, like, drive our kids to a park. I guess they could bike to the one down there. There's a bike path all the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. But not alone. They'd have to go with one of their siblings or a friend from here, like, you, we would just gather and be like, hey, you just knew that you'd meet at the park. Mm -hmm. Like there was not even phone calls or anything. You just got on your bike and you went. Yeah. Or you got on your bike and you pedaled around until you found a friend. Mm -hmm. Did you ever do that? Yeah. Yeah. I sure did. Just Or bike over to a friend's house and knock on the door. <gasps> you don't do that anymore. Yeah. If there was a knock on the door here. We like freak out, right? Who's at the door? Oh my gosh. Ship the ring cam. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't expecting anybody. Back then, you didn't phone call before you were going over to somebody's house. You just showed up. Yeah. There was no. Yeah. It was weird to get a call. Yeah. I mean, our phone rang, but. No, I mean, for me, like, our phone rang, but not typically it wasn't a friend calling. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, like, it was like parents. Or, parents conversations yeah. or. Yeah. Or, yeah. So. Yeah. How about. um, What. Like funny things that have changed over time. Like. um, Tell me something. That was funny or silly when you were a kid. That is way different now. I Well, one thing comes to mind. I don't think kids understand being wrapped in a cord while talking on the phone. Yeah, I was like, what do you mean by wrapped in a cord? Right? Where are we going with this? Yeah. Yeah. Wrapped in a cord. Like, it was, I don't know, you just kind of like walked around the house and before you know it, it's wrapped around an ankle or yeah. around your wrist. Or, or I used to spin it around my finger while I would talk. Yeah. Yeah. Now what do you do while you talk on the phone? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You walk and talk and you like do other things, grocery shop and talk. There's not just talking. No. You don't just sit down yeah. on a chair next to the phone. And, and so I don't think, yeah, different from now to then. Is yeah. That, like, yeah. Yeah. So corded phones. Corded phones. How about dee -dee 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 -dee? rotary, rotary, rotary phones? phones. Yeah, you had one in your garage. We had one in our basement. Yeah, had one in the garage. I think my grandma had one too. But, anyways, I always thought they were funny. I mean, we could talk about the evolution of phones. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the first time you had a cordless phone, because I think you were much younger than me. I think I was. It was an '80s cordless phone, and I believe we had one when we were in Chicago. People, we are not talking cell phones right now. We're just talking a home phone. Yep. That just no longer had to be corded to the wall. Yeah. And it was big. And then it had this big ante antenna that you like pulled out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when you got done with the phone call. Bloop. Put it down. Put it down and then hang it on the. Hey. Had to just go on the charger. Yeah. Put that back on the charger. Yeah. I remember you could go to Target and buy battery packs for those cordless phones. Because those batteries wouldn't last forever. All of a sudden you'd be like battery dead hmm. after only talking for a few minutes if your phone got older yeah maybe you're supposed to upgrade phones but we didn't we just upgraded battery packs every year or so huh we i i don't know i don't remember that kid didn't worry about those things you know <laughs> so how about 
the big thing since we have a grandkid right now the thing that's really evolved and changed from when we were kids to when oh, kids yeah. now i think you're talking the evolution of a car bracket for a child <laughs> to the now ever inclusive I will explode into a bubble if you get an accident car seat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> car seats, people. Oh. Like, when we were kids, I did have a car seat. I know that, I think your mom said that you didn't have one. No, I did not. My younger yeah. two sisters had one. But they were also 80s babies, not 70s babies. Yeah. So I had a car seat. But it was like a plastic with not even fabric. I don't even know what it was wrapped in. Like, pleather. And metal tubing. Mm -hmm. And then all you did was like just put the seat belt through it and then you were good to go. It's unbelievable that you are still alive today. I know, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I don't, I, I'm not anti car seat, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I believe car seats serve a very good purpose and they are very important. But like the parents today just do not understand. That, yeah, car seats, they're just crazy. Well, yeah, I think you have to have your master's in engineering to get the car seat and? actually set properly. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> yes. It is like a whole day to get the car seat in the car. No, we'll take our vehicle. The car seat's already there. Yeah. Like, no, thank you. I'm not switching. That and they seat. have like airbags in them now, and it's crazy. They have to be in reverse two till they're two. Man, when I was two, I was just crawling all over the car. Not really, but oh my goodness, yeah. Child Protective Services is going to talk to your mom right now. I know because you want me to give her phone number out so I can just call her. It'd be a lot easier. Eight six five. So numbers. Phone numbers. Back to phones for a second. Oh, yeah. Did you, like, have a hundred numbers? Not a hundred, but I had, like, probably 20 numbers I had memorized. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Kids don't have to memorize numbers anymore. Like, I know my my best friend's number, 229-2699 or something like that it was, I think, 2669. Yeah. Do you remember what my phone number was? I don't, actually. Two. I, Two five because all like oh yeah two two, 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 five. two 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 five two two eight four six three six oh three six two See? eight three six yeah. I had ours it's eight six five four six two five yep grandma and grandpa's I mean there were so many numbers to memorize I had yours memorized the grandma and grandpa's memorized yeah I. I have Aaron's cell number memorized, my cell number memorized, but I don't even know any of our kids' cell numbers anymore. Like, I couldn't tell you my mother's number. I couldn't tell you anybody's number anymore. Isn't you that funny? Yeah, you don't need their number. You just have to say, hey. Yeah. Call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it just happens. Memorizing numbers. That was a funny thing. Yeah. How about, how about cell phones? How about cell phones? What was your first cell phone, Aaron? I had the uh, NEC cellular telephone. How old were you? Well, you and I were dating, so 17. Yeah. So late 90s, you had your first cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it. You do? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a cell phone. Do you remember why I had to get it? To call me. Yeah. So it was long distance. For Aaron to call two towns over, which was me. And so he got a cell phone. Tell me about your cell phone plan. Well, it was the greatest plan in the world at the time. <laughs> I could call you for 30 minutes a month at any time or nights and weekends after 9 p.m. for whatever. I could call you yeah. as much as I wanted. That's so funny. We do all of our talking on Saturdays. Yeah, all our talking. Saturdays. Plan the whole week. Oh, yeah. So funny. Like, just silly, silly things I find so different between, like, when we were growing up to our kids now mm -hmm. and the things that they just do not understand or even, they can't even comprehend. 
Yeah, cell phones didn't have Googles built into them. Yeah, they were just phones, and yeah. you pushed buttons. No on cameras. Them. No cameras. It was crazy. Yeah. Now you get like the cell phone now is more powerful than most of our computers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about other safety things? Other safety things from the nineties? Yeah. That are different? How about just the um or maybe it's opposite of safety, but when I was a kid and I would just have to be home and the whistle got done blowing. Oh. Nine o'clock whistle, my curfew was. Yeah. The whistle got done blowing. So sometimes I'd leave the house at like eight AM. And I would come home before the whistle got done blowing. And I would not have any communication with mom and dad at all that day. Yeah. Hence the whole no mobile device. Like the generation, we're the last generation of not having something yeah. attached to us. Yeah. They don't know that. They don't understand that. They don't, no. They don't have that freedom of being, you know, yes, you can go out and have fun with your friends all day. And I trust you to do that. Yeah. By the time you do get in trouble when you're. But yeah. Yeah. Come home at five for dinner. We're going to have dinner at five. And you had to be home at five. Like, yeah. If it was a late day, you had to be home at 3.15 because dad got home at 3.30. So. Yeah. Yeah. So just funny things like that. Not knowing time. Do you remember what it was like to not know time? Mm hmm <laughs> No watch, no cell phone, no like clocks. Yeah. You had to find a clock. Yep. On the wall or ask a friend's mom. Yeah. What time it was? If we were downtown or at the ball fields, you had to look over by the bank to see the time on the bank. Mm hmm Too funny. Yeah. Yeah. Now our kids have watches and cell phones and whatever else. Trackers. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> How about, um, let's talk about what other weird things about phones well at one time we didn't have music on our phones and we had to like so i had a car when i was 16 or a truck but i had a cassette deck in it but i didn't like that so i changed it out for one of those new fame dangle cd players oh remember those compact yeah. compact disc yep. players the little cd player <laughs> you just pull the disc out and put it in there and, and uh couldn't hook a phone up at that time. I think some of them had auxiliaries, but there was no phones carrying that. So yeah, one of the big things is like, what now you got 10,000 songs you can store on your phone or just open up Spotify or Apple Music or yeah, and have every song ever written and recorded at your fingertips. That's crazy. Okay, so let's talk about music. Okay. Could you watch music on TV? Oh, yes, you could. Yeah, on MTV. Now, some of us were not lucky enough to have MTV in our town until, like, I was almost dating me before we had MTV. I just have a hard time believing that, but Isn't okay. That crazy? Yeah. It's, I had MTV when I lived in Chicago, so I well, was, like, Chicago 85, family. and I remember, like, turning on MTV and watching all the music videos. Are music videos even still a thing? Like, I've never seen our kids watch a music video. You gotta go to YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, that's kind of funny. But they made the coolest videos. Like, you knew what was cool and happening from music videos. Yeah. Styles, clothing styles, yeah. trends. Yeah. Cars. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite music video? I don't think so. No. I mean, there were a lot of really cool ones. Do you have one that just stands out? Maybe it's not a favorite, but it stands out. Um, like Walk Like the Egyptian. Walk Like an Egyptian is kind of a fun one. When they're all like dancing in the street and the cops and Oh yeah. Yeah. At the donut shop. Mm hmm. It was kind of funny. <laughs> Mine kind of was a... that uh Ella Jackson Chad Hoochie and oh. his country. Mm -hmm. But he went water skiing. Oh. And so for me I was like, Oh, that's big at water skiing. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. I just, I, so many things I feel like our kids are missing out on. Music but, videos. 
They, I mean, they don't nine know. Nine o'clock whistle. Nine o'clock whistle. Had to be home by nine when the be, whistle went off. Being able to bike to the convenience store to get a snack and a soda. Mm-hmm. Or bike to a friend's house. Yeah. These these kids can't. They don't even understand being able to just bike over to a friend's house. So. Yeah. How about um, what's the big, the big game changer that really has changed the world in the last 20, 30 years. I think you're talking about the one that happened right when we were getting ready to graduate the high school. And that was the launch of the World Wide Web yeah. for everybody. The like, World Wide Web. When it became Interwebs. accessible to everybody's houses. Internet. The internets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that has like made a huge change. Mm-hmm. Ask Jeeves, Yahoo. Mm-hmm. And then it turned into the longest running web search engine, the Google. The Google. <laughs> but when, how did you, um, I don't know about you, but for me, remembering the internet is just like one of my favorite things. Are you talking the sound it made? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite thing. Hey, who's... Yeah. Knocked you off the internet? Yeah. We had two lines, so we were usually pretty good about not getting that... Like, one dedicated line to the internet okay. and then one phone line. So... Lucky. Mm-hmm. You guys had money. I don't know about <laughs> that, but... Could I always tell the, the rich folk from the... Not rich folk on the Iron Range because the rich folk had the dedicated internet <laughs> dial up number. Real funny, bud. <laughs> For so, those of you not watching, that was a joke. Yeah, we, um, we did. I think, I want to say we got our first computer like 94. Okay. I want to say I was like 14. Was it running Windows 95? Probably. I don't know. I don't know a lot. A lot about computers or anything I didn't but i just remember that you could write papers on it oh you and then you could like click this little icon and it would print it out on paper yeah i was yeah i know right okay mm-hmm. you're so goofy you probably had an ink inkjet printer i don't know did you ever have a probably this... printer where you had to replace the ribbon almost like typewriter ribbon I don't think so, but the school had that, right? The schools had them, yeah. Yeah. That's what our first printer was, was the okay. cartridge. And if you wanted to print in color, yeah, it had like a ribbon with four or five colors on it, and you had to swap out the black and white for the color one. Hmm. And then if you didn't swap it back and somebody went to print in black and white, and they were just printing a paper and it, some color would show up, you'd get in some trouble because that paper was not cheap compared to the other interesting yeah i don't remember this but yeah Uh, i'm gonna google it for you when we're done and show you i know okay (laughs) what revolutionized what did that help though with the world wide web i don't know like for college for me I was able to get more information for research papers than I was in high school just because of that that change of where you could get information from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you use that for any of that kind of stuff? I mean, not to college, yeah. But I just used the old books. What were those called? Encyclopedias. <laughs> Our kids don't know what encyclopedia there. And you had to find the right one for the letter that you were looking up. Yeah. And some letters had two books. Mm -hmm. Some did. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. That's fun. What else was there in the 90s that really made you a 90s child? I would probably have to say fashion and music. Fashion and music. Yeah. Was there one trend that really you enjoyed more fashion-y than another one? Enjoyed? 
No. Like you're like, this is. No, I'm a 90s child. We did not enjoy anything. <laughs> you, you are using the wrong adjectives, Aaron, to describe the 90s. It, it's not enjoy. It's mm -hmm. more like sad, depressed. Oh, wait, I know what the word is. Grunge. Yeah. Grunge. Yes, I loved grunge. Yeah. Ripped jeans, flannels. Did you have to work hard at looking like you went, didn't work hard to look grungy? No. I just threw on clothes and went. Well, that's how I live my life right now. I just throw on clothes. If it's in my closet, it's good enough. I'm wearing it. Yeah. Just you throw on some overalls and a t-shirt and tie a flannel around your waist and toss on some Doc Martens chunky boots and go. Do you have to put anything in your hair? No. I wore my hair stick straight. So just blow dry it, comb it, and go. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really wear makeup. Maybe a little bit of mascara and that was it. Hmm. No makeup. No nothing. Me too. We got that. Grunge. I mean... The more depressed that I looked, the better I felt. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is hilarious. Yeah. And that was kind of like the music, too. Like, mm -hmm. the lyrics to the songs of the 90s. Yeah, I mean, my mom did not want me to listen to any 90s music. She was like, oh my gosh, you're, it's so sad, and it's horrible music, and... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just listened to it. I thought it was great. Well, some of my favorite fans, you couldn't even understand the words that were coming out of their mouth. Well, yeah. I mean, they had marbles in their mouth. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Yeah. I don't know why she worried so much. <laughs> so, couldn't understand them anyways. But yes, I love 90s music. I still do. I still listen to a ton of 90s music. Yeah. So... List, list some of your favorite bands. Let's bring back some 90s nostalgia. Like uh, Stone Temple Pilots, STP. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Sing Me a Line. No. <laughs> I have a horrible voice. <laughs> Singing you a line. Uh, sometimes people, I just can't with him. This I, guy. Pearl Jam for me. I just. Yeah, Pearl Jam's good. Love me some Pearl Jam. Maybe go to the Foo Fighters as you get to a little bit later of the 90s. But... Audio Slave. Yep. Uh, I did listen to Narvana, but who didn't? Live. Live is good. Matchbox yeah. 20. No. Uh, no. You did. I did not. Matchbox 20. Yeah. But such good music. Smashing Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins, yeah. I had the two disc, the... Yeah. Whatever infinite dream. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So good. I can see the cover in my head right now. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh yeah. I still listen to them. RCP. So. They've been around. Long time. Long time. Yeah. Still rocking it. Yeah, lots of these people are. Well, some of these people are. <laughs> yeah. So good. Did you ever go to a a concert in the nineties? No. Was not able to do that. No, because when I was got to be a teenager, I decided to have a child instead of go to concerts. Mm. So, yeah. And there wasn't much for concerts offered. No, we would have had to go to the cities. Yeah. Which I probably would have done, but. You think your mom would have let you? Yeah. Or would you sneak out? No. <laughs> She's funny. How about. Cameras. Let's talk about cameras for them. because since we're photographers, yeah. What was your first camera like? When did you get it? Eighties, nineties? It was the eighties. Okay. And, and it was um it was just like a press and the film size I think was one thirty five. Okay. And it was like a two barrels and a little thing, it was thin. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, you just stick it in, push the button, mm -hmm. 
and there was no like focal length or anything. It was just what it's just what you, yeah yeah. Uh, mine was a zoom, and it was like I think a, either a Nikon or a Canon, and it was yeah. You put the film in the back and then flop the. You just pull it out, stick it in the tabby thing, and then you flip the cover back, snap that close, and then it would automatically do the film for you. Yes, you had to verify. Yeah, and then it did, did have a zoom a little bit, okay. I think. I think it had, like, I don't know what it was, but not much. Yeah. Crap about it for me, and I loved it. I took it everywhere. You know, kind of like how we have cell phones now to take photos all the time. Yeah. I had that all the time with me to take pictures. So it was really cool. And that was kind of like a box of chocolates, right? You never knew what you were going to get. Yeah. And I had to pay for my own film to get it developed. Where did you have to go for yours? I think we went to Virginia to That's get right. it developed. So we were lucky in White Lakes. We yeah, had you the, had the Ben Franklin. We had the Ben Franklin. We just drop it off. Yeah. And I didn't have and... that. Your town was way bigger than my town. But yet, so, the end of the world. It was. Literally, there was no road leaving. So I mean, there was. It was just dirt. Yeah, dirt road. And white. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, it it was interesting. Did, we even had film for our wedding. Good film for our wedding. Early 2000s. Yeah. So, but. Our first camera as a married couple. Was film. Was film. Yeah. It was a fully automatic film camera, but it was, it was film. And they even had things called disposable cameras. But you we remember had those, those? At our wedding. Yeah, we put them on all the tables. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder where all the pictures are from that. They're in our album. Let's go look at them. <laughs> we should look at our album every once in a while. Yeah. Pull it out. We have a lot of albums. So. Um. And now, like, the last probably 10 years, we haven't even printed anything. Our kids have no, like, printed everyday photos they have fancy photos on the wall of them like portraits well, but they don't have... We have printed was 2015 maybe maybe yeah so i think that these kids are missing out on um like seeing photos all the time like yeah. i get to see you know my parents albums and shoe boxes full yeah of pictures yeah so it's kind of funny but yeah it's uh it's a lost, what do you call it? Not art, but lost. Like the digital age has mm -hmm. really changed how that is. And I don't think people look at photos like they did until there's an occasion. You have to go dig them up. Yeah. Yeah. Which is sad. But print your photos, people. Print your photos. Print them. Yeah. Kids love looking at them. So anything else? Any other big things that you want to talk about between growing or talk about growing up in the eighties and nineties that were amazing? Um, talk about distractions while driving. Do you remember turning sixteen? Yes. And uh, getting your license. Mm -hmm. And then they talk about distracted drivers. And don't be a distracted driver. But I remember, like. I think I spent only half the time with my eyes on the road because I was digging for a CD or looking at a paper map and trying to flip it. Yeah. Well, eating, eating my a sandwich. cheeseburger yeah. and drinking my Dr. Pepper. Like, 100% agree. Like, and I remember sometimes having multiple CDs in my hands at the time, like on fingers or in the mouth or whatever, and you're fumbling and trying to put them away and and take one out of the CD changer or player and then put another one in. It's just crazy. Like, Yes, distracted driving. Are you kidding me? It, we were so distracted too. So I agree. Yeah, that's funny. Well, I loved growing up in the eighties and nineties. I think that um, our kids are missing out on a few things that really were amazing and made um, life fun. But yeah, I tried. To, we tried to do our best by taking them elsewhere and taking cell phones breaks and stuff like breaks that breaks from but, the phones yeah but get them out on the trails mm -hmm. so get them yeah. yeah well thanks everybody for listening oh yeah and let us know when did you grow up when were you born why was your decade better yeah why was your decade amazing tell us tell why. why 
And uh, if you have any questions for us, please email them or uh, Instagram message them to us. Yeah. We are also now on the new threads. Threads find, us. You can find us. The Vokes, the Vokes, the Vokes. Everything is the Vokes. If you can't remember, but you remember the Vokes, just go to the Google. Yeah. Type in the Vokes. Google. We have that now, so we can use it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, you can always email us. Hello. Hello. At fourgirlsglamour.com. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining us. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys. Or hearing. Talking, hearing. Yeah. Sharing. Sharing. Is that the sharing is the right word? We're looking oh. forward to sharing yeah. some more unsolicited info. Info. Thoughts. From the Vokies. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.